All right, so at this point, we're ready to create some cross sections. Uh, so, so far we've done our alignment. We have our points, which we use to create a surface. So we have a surface, we have an alignment, we have a profile view with our existing ground profile, as well as our design profile. We have our assembly and we made a corridor to determine cut and fill. So the next thing is cross sections. So what we're taking a look at for ours is from our plan view, we've got our road coming through here. So we want to cut a cross section at different spots. So say like through this section, we're going to cut, cut a cross section. So at station 100, this would be our travel lanes and our shoulder and our ditch. This is our area of cut. We've got our existing ground going across the top. We have elevations going across the side. And we've got our feet from the center line of our road along the bottom. And so we're going to end up cutting three cross sections, one at 100 feet, one here kind of towards the middle at 375, where this one is an area where there's basically no cut and there's no fill. And then the last one towards the end of our alignment where we are in a fill condition. So that's at 550. So what we're going to do is we're going to do that similar work here on this drawing that we've been working on. So go ahead and open up P9-49, your tech drawing that you've been working on. So the first thing we need to do is create some sample lines. So sample lines, the command's right here. So go ahead and click on sample lines. And then when you do that, it says select an alignment or hit enter. So I'll just hit enter. And that allows me to select my alignment, Weber Parkway, hit OK. This brings up my create sample line group. So for the name of this group, I'm going to call it cross section group number one. Over here in sample line style, I'll just select standard. For my sample line label style, I'll select none. For sample line layer, I'll click on my little icon out to the right, brings up my object layer dialog box. I'll click on that same icon over here next to base layer name. And then I'm going to come down here to a layer called C Road Samp. So I'll select C Road Samp and hit OK. And my object layer dialog box, I'll click OK again. And down here under data sources, so this is what's going to be visible for these sample lines. So I'm going to have my existing ground is turned on and Weber Parkway, that corridor, that's also turned on. So those are both going to be visible in my sample line group. So I'll go ahead and click OK there. Now where I'm, now it's where I'm going to start specifying where I want these sample lines to be. So the first sample line, I want it to be at 100 feet. So the beginning of my sample line is, or the beginning of my alignment is right here at zero. So I'm moving 100 feet along my alignment. So somewhere kind of in that area is where my first sample is going to be. So I'll type in 100 and hit enter. That says how far to the left do I want to sample? I'm going to do 50 feet. How far to the right? I'm going to do 50 feet again. So that gives me that first sample line. And then I can go ahead and create a second sample line. So my second one's going to be at 250 feet. And again, that's from zero. So 250 feet is going to be somewhere kind of here towards the end of my alignment. And then this time to the left, I'm going to sample 50 feet. And you'll see over here on the right side, there's a lot more of the cut and fill condition. So I'm going to do a larger width over there. So I'm going to do 100 feet over there. And then after I've entered that in, go ahead and hit enter again, and that creates my sample lines. So then at this point, I'm ready to create my cross section. So I'll come up here, click on create section view. And then similar to what we did for profile views, I'm just going to work down through all these. So my alignment, select Weber Parkway for my sample line, SL1. And that's at station 100. That was the first sample line that we created. My section view name, I'll go ahead and leave it alone. For section view layer, I'll click on my icon out to the right. Object layer dialog box, I'll click on my icon out to the right again. 
come on down to C Road S E C T right there. I'll click on it and hit OK. In the object layer box, I'll hit OK again. For my section view style, I'm going to use standard. So I'll select standard, click on next. For my offset range, I already typed those in when I created my sample line, so I'll just leave it set to be automatic. So click on next. For elevation range, I'll go ahead and let AutoCAD Civil 3D determine my an appropriate elevation range. I can always go and change this later, so I'll go ahead and leave it, it as automatic. Click on next. And then here, it's showing what's going to be drawn in these section views. So I want my existing ground to show up, and I want my Weber Parkway Road corridor to show up. So I'll leave both of those checked. Click on Next. For my data bands, I'm just going to select None there. And then I'll click on Create Section View. Come on off, off over here to the right somewhere, and I'll click. And what you're going to notice is here in this section view, our existing ground shows up, or our corridor doesn't. And the reason our corridor doesn't show up is because our corridor is not turned on. So Civil 3D is not actually seeing a corridor. So that's easy enough to change. Come over here into our tool space on our prospector tab. Come down here to corridors, find Weber Parkway Road, right click on it, go to properties. In here, go ahead and check the box under the parameters tab for your corridor. Click on OK. When I ask you to rebuild, go ahead and click on Rebuild the Corridor, and you'll see how your corridor shows up there. So that's a quick little video demonstration on how to create a section view. In the next video, we'll take a look at editing this to get it to display the, we the way we want it to display. So thanks for watching, and I'll get started on the next video. Thanks.